Good evening, I'm Pastor Vance Mortensen coming to you with evening prayer. Thank you for joining our virtual community tonight. For tonight's evening prayer service, I will be using the Celtic Daily Prayer Book uh, for evening prayer. We have also a reading of uh, one of the Psalms, and then I have some commentary that I'd like to include tonight. So let's begin, and once again, thank you for joining us in, in spirit in our virtual community. It's always good to uh, hear from the people that are watching these uh, videos on Sunday evening. So let us begin. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. My soul waits for the Lord more than those who watch for the morning, more than those who watch for the morning. Out of the depths I have cried to you, O Lord, hear my voice. With my whole heart I want to praise you, O Lord, hear my voice. If you, Lord, should mark iniquities, who could stand? Who could stand? I will wait for the Lord. My soul waits. And in his word do I hope. And now, our expressions of faith. Lord, you have always given bread for the coming day, and though I am poor, today I believe. Lord, you have always given strength for the coming day, and though I am weak, today I believe. Lord, you have always kept me safe in trials, and now, tried as I am, today I believe. Lord, you have always marked the road for the coming day, and though it may be hidden, today I believe. Lord, you have always lightened this darkness of mine, and though the night is here, today I believe. Lord, you have always spoken when time was ripe, and though you be silent now, today I believe. For our scripture reading tonight, I would like to read Psalm 150. The Psalms have always been an appealing part of scripture for me because in some ways they seem to me to be one of the most human parts of the, the Bible. So please join me if you'd like to follow along. I will be using the New Revised Standard Translation of Psalm 150. Praise the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in his mighty firmament. Praise him for his mighty deeds. Praise him according to his surpassing greatness. Praise him with trumpet sound. Praise him with lute and harp. Praise him with tambourine and dance. Praise him with strings and pipe. Praise him with clanging cymbals. Praise him with loud clashing cymbals. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Rather than come up with commentary, which would be, in my humble opinion, would pale in the face of other wonderful commentaries, I would like to read a, a portion from a book called Psalms, the prayer book of the Bible. This was written by Dietrich Bonhoeffer, who you remember was a uh, priest in uh, Germany during the time of the Nazis. And uh, sadly, a week before the surrender of the Nazis, uh, he was imprisoned and executed. The title of this short chapter is Congregational Worship and the Psalms. In many churches, the Psalms are read or sung every Sunday or even daily in succession. These churches have preserved a priceless treasure, for only with daily use does one appropriate this divine prayer book. When read only on occasionally, 
These prayers are too overwhelming in design and power and tend to turn us back to more palatable fare. But whoever has begun to pray the Psalter seriously and regularly will soon give a vacation to other little devotional prayers and say, Ah, there is not the juice, the strength, the passion, the fire which I find in the Psalter. It tastes too cold and too hard. That's a quotation from Martin Luther. Therefore, wherever we no longer pray the Psalms in our churches, we must take up the Psalter. That much more in our daily morning and evening prayers, reading and praying together at least several Psalms every day, so that we succeed in reading through the, the book a number of times each year getting into it deeper and deeper. We also ought not to select psalms at our own discretion, thinking that we know better than what we ought to pray than does God himself. To do that is to dishonor the prayer book of the Bible. In this ancient church, it was not unusual to memorize what was called the entire David. In one of the Eastern churches, this was a prerequisite for the pastoral office. The church's father, St. Jerome, says that one heard the psalms being sung in the fields and gardens in his time. The Psalter impregnated the life of early Christianity. And yet, more important than all of this is the fact that Jesus died on the cross with the words of the Psalter on his lips. Whenever the Psalter is abandoned, an incomparable treasure vanishes from the Christian church. With its recovery will come unsuspected power. Indeed, the Psalms provide us with the food, the drink, the comfort, and the theology that will take us through for our lifetimes. May it be so. Amen. Let us continue with our evening prayer. This is the evening canticle. In the shadow of your wings, I will sing your praises, O Lord. The Lord is my light, my salvation, whom shall I fear? The Lord is the refuge of my life, of whom shall I be afraid? In the shadow of your wings, I will sing your praises, O Lord. One thing I ask of the Lord, one thing I seek, to dwell in the presence of my God, to gaze on your holy place. In the shadow of your wings, I will sing your praises, O Lord. I believe I shall see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Oh, wait for the Lord. Have courage and wait. Wait for the Lord. In the shadow of your wings, I will sing your praises, O Lord. Let's take a moment for some personal prayer. I would ask that we have a few moments of silence. Please offer up your own prayers of praise and thanksgiving. Gracious God, we're thankful that you have, by your grace, given us the freedom to gather as a virtual community and praise your name. Gracious God, we ask your protection, comfort for those people who are at war the soldiers, the civilians, and all the victims. I ask prayers for our own country, especially the southwest part of the United States where there seem to be just uncontrollable fires. Grant us wisdom to see us through these troubling times.
I have another special prayer. First for the Big Moose Chapel in Inlet, New York, and for the Adirondack Alliance Church in Saranac Lake. Both of these faith communities are seeking a minister to be a pastor for them. God, we pray for all those who are sick, who are near death, for those grieving loved ones. We pray for those who are hungry, homeless, in prison, or in any kind of trouble. God, in all things, guide us to see you in our world, in the people of the world, in all of your creation, and give us guidance as to our place and what we should do according to your will. Let us see that we are at peace among ourselves and that we love one another. Let's follow the example of good people of old, and God will comfort and help us, both in this world and in the world to come. In this we pray in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thank you for being with me and the rest of our virtual community tonight. May you have a blessed evening. Good night.